hate this. Okay, there's Gil Turner's. Now, Gil Turner's is only important because we'd usually go in there and get something to drink and let, if we didn't already have it. But we usually had it because we parked up that way and right by where that stupid fire truck is was Geffen Records. Which everybody wanted to, uh, you know, get signed to Geffen. That's actually not Geffen, but that was a big part of the reason why I came down here. Now let's get back to the walkumentary of the Sunset Strip, which we are at Doheny and Sunset. Got it? So Gil Turner's. Then we walk across the street here in our high heels. Used to be a gas station here. This has always been a friggin' bank. There was a sushi place. But where this bus stop is, there was just a bench. And that's where Slash used to always be passed out. And I kick him in the back and say, take a shower, you stink. So that's where he always was. For all you people that want to know and blah, blah, blah. That's it. The Slash Stink bus stop. Which looks very different than he's Slash stop. Slash stop. Please stop. And geez, Harleys. We've heard them coming up and down this stupid strip for too long. So over there is the what? The 9000 building? Whatever it is. A lot of uh, poser friggin' managers and stuff were in there. The elevators in that building were very uh, popular Jim to Morrison. get in there. Jim Morrison walked along the top of the top that building when he was drunk. That's the building he walked around the edge. And everybody thought he was going to die, but of course, he waited till he got to Paris to do that. So here we go. We're walking down the friggin' strip. This is a walkumentary. Try not to get anybody because no one here actually looks like they used to. Actually, because none of the people here were probably alive when I was down here. Over there was really nothing. It was all right here. Where did you get me in the fight? Right here. Right here where those guys are. I got in a fight with this dumb punk from a stupid band. Oh, can't even remember the band it has. Not tough. Those guys are cool. This is a loser band that did nothing. They were called Taz. The drummer was a little punk. And I was mouthing off to him. And his two friends decked me. And I woke up over here behind the, where the bank is. And some girl was kicking me in the ribs. <laughs> And I'm not sure why I think I said something to her. I was, you know, too drunk. Drunk and disorderly. On the forthcoming album, uh, alley, that's, uh, what alley? Right here. What about it? We went down that alley behind there. Oh, that's right. There was parking down there. Well, that's where we finished up some Oh, that's where we finished the fight. Yeah, so yeah. that whole band, and then my band, and my friend here, Gary Moore, who was... Roadie, no, not the dead guy, but my roadie friend guy, and Tomato and Rudy and all these friggin'. We went down there and got in a big fight. Cops came and broke it up and arrested some of those guys, and I ended up going to the hospital because I got my nose broken. So sometimes it was dangerous. Anyways, this weird dance freak club now, this was Gazari's. And then it was the Key Club. Now it's just some wasted dance crap. There's a, some poser tattoo place that was not here. LA Guitar Sales, got no idea what that is and I don't care. I don't come down here. Hollywood sucks now. Hollywood sucks now, just like the guy that said it at the freaking liquor store. He <laughs> said, eh, should have filmed them, but that's when things get weird. I didn't want you on film. So, I've got an hour and a half to do this as far as parking. 
as far as filming I got about an hour so now we're coming down to the rainbow now that is where I would come down to fish for rainbow trout and hopefully the trout I know I hopefully the trout would look a lot better than some of the trout like like, like you know sometimes if you drink too much that's what the trout look like but if you could handle your liquor and pick the right kind of trout right now we're not seeing any good ones. <laughs> so there you are 9,000 building very famous for the elevators and having sex in them and Jim Morrison walked along top so now here's a rainbow that looks oh. original all of that doesn't that's all new crap there's nobody in there that looks like they did but you know in the 80s this is the friggin place man this was the friggin place but now it's just a bunch of idiots who knows I don't know I wouldn't go there I don't go there last time I went in there for pizza Mario was still alive Mario's not alive oh yeah he stuck his finger okay so here's the official lemmy thing here for all you guys who like motorhead so when I came in here once all chicked out looking like a chick lemmy was sitting at the bar he called me over and he wanted to know how I could get so many girls looking like a chick or he said looking like a bird and I told him so he bought me like seven Long Islands and really that was no big deal back then seven Long Islands now it would kill me but this used to have the best pizza and the best girls in the world the Ra Roxy here we are at the Roxy I played there a million times this is where friggin crew of course you know Everybody's played here. Who hasn't played here? Gang of Four is gonna play here. That means everybody's played here. Didn't even know Gang of Four was still around. See, you used to go in there. Now they're going in there. Who knows what the heck's happening? Everything's different. This this is like a sucky ass version of Hollywood from the 80s. Now in these stairs. Right up about there, I had sex with a girl after the club closed and I was done playing there. And uh, there was nowhere to go, so I went up on the stairs and that's where we stayed. Until like it started getting light, then we went and got something to drink. Over there where there's nothing was a run-down motel where like all the wannabe musicians rented rooms. And that's where I found one of my singers, well, Rudy. He lived there with this, I don't know, it was a group of people. But uh, they tore that place down a long time ago. But that's where I found uh, band members. It was easy. Find them there, walk over here and play. Done. But now it's all gone. Sorry. It'll never be the way it was. There's this goofy fat. Well, see, here's some trout. Some trout. As you can see tonight, there's a tribute band at the whiskey called Madonica. It's a Madonna Metallica tribute. Isn't that strange? But here you go. I'm just thinking because. Yeah. But that is the main reason <laughs> most people were down here playing. Of course, that was just a side thing. The main reason was to get signed and to go off into fame and fortune. This place, I don't remember what it was. You know, it was always some kind of building. I remember staring at it from over there. I don't remember when it went up or why or whatever that Hustler's place that would that wasn't there in the 80s I don't even know what was there 
there but that all that was the motel, motel I can't remember it was there some friggin store and this is just these are you know what this was hair all of these were like hair styling places like long hair rocks and all that crap yeah. where people would come in and get their hair done and see how high you could get at the stand and see how they're doing it right now at 12 o'clock at night but now they're just they're still doing hair but everybody gets gay haircuts short on the side and uh it, everybody looks like a bunch of Thick homosexual marines ymca man this is not the friggin hollywood man <laughs> So down the street here, there's a Motley Crue billboard for the movie that's coming out. The Dirt. <laughs> that's nothing compared to what hopefully is going to come out about Michael D. Rock Legend. That would be... Here we have three homosexuals. Yeah, that's common. I mean, look... At <laughs> <laughs> See, you know when you're a fashion statement, when you walk down the street looking like a homeless... So neat. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what that would be. I, if that is fashion, then I'm clueless. I don't remember what was here at all. But mainly it's just, there was the rainbow and the rocks. It and, and Gazaris, of course. But I got banned from Gazaris the first time because my drummer pissed on Bill Gazaris leg when he was talking to Peter Chris. So boom, we got banned. The second time Fatal Attraction got banned because Trey threw a pumpkin full of blood onto the stage and got blood in the new monitors and boom, banned again. And then I'm like Man, I'm never going to be able to play here again. But then I actually went back and played there with uh, Blizzard, the Randy Rhodes tribute band, in 1992. Uh, but there you go. This has always been some kind of car place. Because yeah. we would all walk down here and look at it and go, Man, I'm going to have that car one day. I love it. Now it's just a bunch of junk cars. There's always jackasses. Hey man, what's up, bo? Let's see, here's this junk crap now. Is that? That's Magnum PI's car. Huh. What the hell's that doing in there? I guess that would be impressive to somebody, but I want to see like, uh, friggin'. Well, that's not bad, actually. But if, if Dave Miles has got a Ferrari, and only Dave Miles would know this, then that must be a crappy car. So that's really it, man. We're coming up on the whiskey, and then like 81, 82, 83, when Motley was playing there, it was cool, but it was totally different. Did you ever go see him? And you just at uh, Santa, Santa Monica. Monica. Universal with Kiss. Oh, so you saw them at Santa Monica Civic and you were... Okay. So when Motley Crue took off on their Shout of the Devil tour, they shut the whiskey down. And they remodeled it completely. So when you come down here now, this is not the friggin' whiskey of the 70s or early 80s at all. You'd walk in the side and the Good. stage would be in the back of the of the place now the stage is in the front and it's teeny i hated playing there the whiskey sucked and it was easy to sell out because you can hardly get anybody in there that's why we could sell out so well you know whatever so we're almost done with the sunset strip walkumentary as far as the strip yeah there's a there's a, actually a fair amount of uh Okay, over here, I fell out of uh, the hearse that we had for Fatal Attraction and fell on my face and broke my tooth. So, you know, you had to have noticed the white tooth that I have. 
No, it's white because it doesn't get yellow with the rest of the teeth because it's porcelain. It doesn't come out. <laughs> it cost me a lot of money, but that's where I lost my... T I should go over and look for it, but I'm sure it's gone. Anyways, there was nothing here. This has all been rebuilt to try to capitalize on uh, the club that was here that the Doors used to play at. Cannot remember the name. I'm sure you will. It's called something now, Rock and, rock and Poser. I don't know. Look at man buns and everything. It's not cool. It's not cool. Maybe I can get it back to how it used to be. People are having a good time, I'll tell you, but I don't get it. Still. Anyway, so, yeah. Down here, this was like, this is nothing. See how people are? It's like, wow, there's like 10 people. There used to be thousands of people on both sides of the street. From here, actually down to that liquor store. The other Gill Turners down there, whatever. From there, all the way up to the other liquor store. Both sides of the street, thousands of people. So this is where they unload everything. At the front of the friggin' whiskey uh, poser. Listen. Yeah, bend the car. Listen. Good. See what the world's come to? No more original bands. We're listening to a pretty good sounding chick band that's doing Pat Benatar right now, even though they're Madonica. It's the way the guitars are tuned, but it's Pat Benatar. That's Gary Moore, not the guitar player. Over there used to be Zaz or Zah Oz. Oz. That's where my uh, friend <laughs> used to work. I won't say his name just in case he didn't want me to. Actually used to live down in an apartment there. Okay, so here, that's enough of Madonica, I'm sure. So right here was the front door when Motley was playing. Right here. Or there. That was the front door, right? Yeah, the back door is the front door. This is where you got the tickets. So Molly Crew lived right up the street, right there on that side. Never did I see a party or a bunch of chicks walking. No, nah, never. Up there they had, actually it was right. They don't have it, but that window up there was the backstage <coughs> back in 81 82 and my dad would come down and park right here in his car to pick me up because i was too young to drive 16. but motley crew would be playing there and mick would sit right next to the window and he threw a shot glass at my dad's car <laughs> Because he kept honking. He goes, some Mexican down there is honking at his horn. I go, that's a, a Mexican. That's my dad. So that was kind of funny. But that used to be the backstage. So it's totally changed. It's, it's not what it used to be. That used to be a friggin' another friggin' what? A gas station. Then they tore it down and it was just a lot. A vacant lot forever. And then there's the parking back there where a lot of crap happened you can guess that's it i mean other than the thousands of people that are missing from here you can't even imagine it it's just like ten thousand people five thousand each side just up and down this freaking street everywhere now it's it's gone so i don't come down here why would i but if I get the band together, a band together, not any of my old ones, eh, we'll see what happens. But mm, it's, all, it's a long shot, I'll tell you. Look at that, Madonica. Is there some kind of 
coincidence that Motley Crue puts out a Madonna song and then the next night Madonna plays here headlining I don't think that's a coincidence at all even though they're not playing Madonna they're playing Pat Benatar so that's it I think that's not very long huh well it's been about an hour actually so there's already been about an hour that's some trout getting away so that's when everybody said rainbow trout <laughs> that's what they meant just in case people didn't get that rainbow trout so there you go uh i don't know can you think of anything we drunk. yeah this is when you know when we're in our 20s and lit up and ready to play or just down here ready to do whatever it was a totally different vibe now it's just like okay well, i'm ready to go <laughs> i can't think of any stories here about the troop about the whiskey except you know i played here and motley crew played here and who else everybody's played here alice cooper freaking I don't know. I played here actually with my band Fatal Attraction before we were vampires and Warrant opened up for us. And that was a KNEC sponsored show. That was weird. Because then they of course went on to get signed and then I had to punch JD Lane in the face and he went down and now he's dead. Sorry. Let's listen to see what this is. Do you want it carry it? See, to me this isn't thrilling because they're playing something. See, now it's taking a dive. Let's go back up. Where do I want to go? All you people that are watching this. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go back up. I'm going to shut this off in a minute or two because we're pretty much done. There's the box office. This is really no big thing. No big thing. See, totally different. But yeah, sold that place out several times with Fatal Attraction. And, uh once with somebody else I don't remember that's the thing if you remember everything in the 80s then you're full of crap because that means you really weren't here and you weren't you know what which isn't something to brag about actually but that's just the way it was see I don't know there's a hell of a car. Now that's a nice car. All right, so that's it. We've gone down the strip and now back up. This is the way it is now to 20, 2019. In 1989, it was a totally different story. 89, it was packed. 90, packed. 91, this is what it looked like and everybody was like what happened did someone turn off the party switch it was literally that fast there's chicks all right man this is it see you this is it for right now i'll do part two or three later yeah and this guy's farting out of his face that guy why and that's it. I can't believe they haven't built anything on that lot where the friggin' motel was. All right, that's it. Bye. Later. Come on.